Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing a shop or drop. In these types of videos, I go through Instagram, mostly Trend Mood 1's Instagram page, and I tell you whether or not I will be shopping the new makeup or dropping them from my shopping list. This idea was, of course, inspired and completely stolen from Miss Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. So if you want to hear all my thoughts and opinions on new makeup releases, then just keep watching. filmed this morning. It was so sunny. Now it looks like it's gonna rain and I'm sad. I'm starting to feel like fall though and I can't complain. Got my chai. Okay, okay. Anyways, let's get let's get to the maquillaje. Honestly, it's slowed down the makeup releases. This week's video is not going to be very interesting. There's a few that I'm excited to talk about, but I love it when we're thick and heavy in the new makeup release season, particularly the holidays, but it's nice when it slows down because then I can catch up on like these types of videos. ColourPop came out with a NBA collaboration. Uh, they actually sent me the Miami Heat. I don't know why. That was like my least favorite color story. If I had to pick a color story, I'd either pick the Mavs or the Lakers, color story-wise. Anyways, I'm not a basketball watcher. I have no allegiance to any teams. It's cute for the girls that like sports. I can definitely see, but ugh, there's only six. And I, of course, I'm sure these are like the six most popular teams, but pass on this dropping it from my list. Not that interested in the theme. I mean, we know ColourPop's come out with every color story imaginable at this point, so it just seems like nothing's unique anymore from the brand, so I actually do need to like the theme, and I'm not into the theme. But like I said, I have my Hammy Heats, and the palette's really pretty. It's like a gorgeous, warm, fall tones palette, but I feel no, like, allegiance to it. It's my Hammy Heat. I don't I don't care about it. <laughs> okay, but it's available now if you're interested. Now, I've already reviewed this. This is like old news at this point. I'm back in October 11th right now on Tread Mood, but just to cover it, this palette from Patrick Chow, this blush palette, amazing. Please have my notification bell on and I will let you know when it's back in stock or check your local Sephora because they're in stores now. Check out my review. Quality is amazing. Love this palette. 10 out of 10. Great new unique color. So it's sold out pretty quickly, but it's really good. It's worth it. Okay, so this launched on Danessa Myrick's website and Beautylish. I shopped this as well. This is the Lightwork Volume 3 Infinite Light Palette. Apparently, it's limited quantity. I, I shopped it. Like I said, I'm really excited. The promos looked really beautiful, but it is $125. <laughs> I love Danessa Myrick's as a makeup artist, but I don't necessarily love everything from her brand. I think she has some good stuff from her brand. Let me spit over more. But she definitely has some stuff from her brand that I don't really like. Like, I did not like those chrome flakes she just recently launched. And there's a number of things that I haven't been crazy about. If she She's selling it for $125, a Pat McGrath Labs price. It has to be amazing. I'm hoping. I'm doubtful because Danessa Myricks is really, truly hit or miss for me. But these have really cool galactic colors. It looks like a lot of dimension, duochrome, one pressed glitter, two duochrome gels, two powder creams, five multi-chrome pigments, four holographic powders. It just sounds incredible but we'll see if it's worth $125 so yes I did shop that I'm really excited about this I'm waiting for it to come show up at my house and I'm pumped for this really excited I mean okay truly doesn't really look like a color story that I'd wear very often but I need to know that's all it is. Okay, so this has been launched already too, but I need to talk about the Jaclyn Cosmetics Holiday Collection. And this collection to me is a big fat yawn. Dropping this, not interested, did not pick anything up from this collection. And normally her collections truly, really do excite me. I love her packaging and I think for the most part, I've really enjoyed her quality and the products she's come out with. Not a single thing in this collection appealed to me. The blush trail looks cheap to me. Maybe I'm kind of interested in the nourishing oil primer, but it just seems ill-fitting to put it in this kind of collection. The eye toppers, listen, eye toppers always tempt me. They truly do. But I have so many at this point, and ask me how many times I open up my single lid topper, liquid shadow, those types of things, the individuals. Ask me how many times I open up those drawers. Like, never. Even now, I'm wearing all matte look and I tell myself when I wear matte looks, 
to go into my drawer and use those individual glimmers, but here I am. Nope, I just stick with the palette. I will make exceptions, of course, for brands that I love. I don't love Jaclyn Cosmetics enough to spend a lot of money for a lid dopper that I will never use. And then there's some lip stuff. I've just not been into lip stuff in general, period. I have too much. I actually, my BK Beauty stuff just came in. I'm excited for those because I love the brand. So this, I just don't love any of these items enough. I don't love the brand enough to justify this. Really boring to me. Packaging doesn't appeal to me. Really nothing appeals to me <laughs> about this collection. So yeah, um, I'm dropping it. And that was really mean and negative. I like the brand. I just don't like this launch. Okay, I did get asked a few questions about this. Hermes, Hermes, Hermes. I'm not fancy enough. <laughs> the Goldsmith Face and Eye Illuminating Powder. I know a lot of you were excited for this. I wasn't. I didn't even like bat an eye when this launched, to be honest. And you know I'm not one to judge. But it's not on my radar. It, it's too much for me. Uh, that being said, for my mom's birthday, I actually got her an Hermes lip balm and an Hermes lipstick, and she loves them. I'm not paying $90 for a highlight. I'll pay $60 for the Pat McGrath highlight. <laughs> but not Hermes. Maybe, what, how much is a Chanel? 70? Anyways, I'm crazy. I pay crazy prices, but Hermes does not scream out to me. I'm not really interested in the brand, not interested in this highlight. I think the Pat McGrath is prettier than this one, and I feel like I'd like the Pat McGrath highlight anyways. $90 is absurd. That being said, I did pay $90 for a few Tom Ford things recently, so like I said, I'm hypocritical here, but this just wasn't doing it for the drop. Let's do another little self promo for a new launch that I already reviewed. Actually, I filmed it today. This is the Fenty Resting Peach Face Cream Blush and Mini Gloss Balm Cream Duo. Absolutely love this. It's amazing. I actually got this in PR. I didn't shop for it, but it's something that I had my eye on and I know a lot of you guys did as well. I'm here to confirm it's worth shopping. Definitely wait for the Sephora sale at the very least though, but check out my review on this. Didn't shop it, but I'm gonna say shop it because it's worth it and the color is really pretty the lip gloss is really vibrant the cheek color is not too vibrant but it's really flattering on the face so this launched at this point about 10 days ago but it's really good okay <clears throat> I'd be lying if I said I didn't like hmm, this one I don't normally buy advent calendars and I'm not gonna buy this but um really good. <laughs> this is the Chanel Advent Calendar. Is it really $825? Dang, and it comes in like a giant Chanel bottle packaging. Get perfumes in here. I see a lipstick, nail polish. I see hand cream. Is that jewelry I see? Oh my gosh. I love Chanel, but I'm not gonna pay $825 for this. I can't stop staring at it. <laughs> I'm dropping it. I'm not, I'm not picking that up, okay? I'm not gonna do it. But uh, Chanel is so fascinating to me. It's like, I dream of one day owning Chanel in my life. You guys know, I have a few Chanel makeup pieces. Thank you for uh, being the channel and the means to provide me that. I would love one day to own a Chanel purse and some Chanel fragrances when it financially makes sense. Not there yet. Not getting that, but... I'm intrigued. Okay, one size came out with some sets. No, see, there's a Kat Von D thing down there at the bottom, but I'm keeping my focus on the one size sets. So it looks like there's a lot of different ones. These boring quads, which are probably good. They're probably really wearable, but I'm not getting those because they look boring. Drop. And the eyeliner, which I do really like, the one size eyeliner. Honestly, I like the one with the setting spray, the primer, and the powder just because I haven't tried anything like that from one size and I feel like they'd have good base products I like their concealer dropping for now but it might be something that I throw in my cart for the VIB sale I feel like I heard those items were good not buying the eyeshadows a tentative drop for everything else um, I just want to know okay makeup by Mario has launched ultra suede sculpting lip pencils and it doesn't look like these names correspond with the lipsticks but these launched october 18th and i did pick up two lipsticks so i'm smiling because it's in an upcoming haul so you guys didn't know that yet but <laughs> i like that there's a lip 
brush at the end, honestly. It's great to blend out lip liner with. Honestly, I probably will pick up one or two of these during the Sephora VIB sale. I like to um, collect things from the Makeup by Mario line and let you guys know my thoughts. Generally speaking, he has a very good line, so I'm gonna shop these. I'm not in any rush, but I love a good lip liner. I really, really do, and I feel like looking at the swatches, this is a beautiful collection of colors, just basic nudes, like sculpting lip shades, really. So I bet you they're good. We have another ColourPop collection. Doesn't seem to have a date, at least on Trend Mood yet. At the time that this was posted, this is the Lucky Penny collection. I actually did receive this in PR, and truthfully, you guys, it's really beautiful. I don't think it's something I would have purchased myself, so I'm just gonna put a drop on this. But it's really, really pretty. They're beautiful copper tones in this palette. The packaging is pretty and sparkly. I really do like this collection, but you guys know I do suffer from color pop fatigue. It takes a certain theme or something special for their collections to excite me. I'm not excited for that, but it looks really nice based on what I've seen and I have it in person. So yeah. Okay, I'm not going to get these, but Guerlain why did I say it like that? <laughs> Guerlain has the Meteorite Gold Pearls Light Revealing Pearls of Powder Limited Edition Powder. I'm passing on these. I never buy these, so dropping these, but I like them balls. I like the way that they smell. My mom buys them, so maybe she'll pick it up, but I really have no interest for these as makeup. It's just like a luxury thing to have. No, I don't need that though. I know they have a cult following. Okay, Dominique Cosmetics is launching Coral Blossom Eyeshadow Palette. And I really like Dominique Cosmetics. Truthfully, I haven't bought from the brand in a very, very long time just because they haven't come out with too much that has interested me. And I wouldn't say that this exactly interests me either. It's cute, it's sweet, it's a good everyday palette. I think it's pretty, but I mean, I don't need any makeup at this point, obviously but this doesn't even really scream out as something that I want. So I'm gonna be dropping this. I like the Dominique Cosmetics formula a lot. I like Dominique a lot. Not interested, so we're gonna drop this. It's just, it's a bit boring. Probably usable, but boring. Okay, I posted about this on my Instagram stories that I will not be picking up anything from the Tom Ford Lost Cherry collection. My last thoughts on the last Tom Ford palette that came out with their Soleil Neige collection has left a bad taste in my mouth. I just, I don't like the direction Tom Ford is going. The prices are becoming more and more expensive and I just can't do it. I'm not interested in anything from this collection. The eyeshadow quad looks boring. The lip color is just a red to me. $57, no thank you. I don't know what this cushion compact is. And the Lost Cherry perfume. So dropping this from my list, because it is absolutely so boring. <laughs> so no, not for me. Okay, here's kind of um, the big catch with this video. This is the one where I know you guys want to hear my thoughts. I meant to talk about it on my last live and I completely forgot. So Huda Beauty is coming out with the Rose Quartz collection and um, it's launching November 1st on their website and I will be picking this up or shopping this. So I look at this new palette. It reminds me a lot of Mercury Retrograde and I think it's beautiful. Like I'm going to pick it up. It looks stunning, but it also looks like it has potential to maybe have some redundant shades in there, maybe a little bit ashy potentially, but nonetheless, I, I think it's beautiful. And I think I just need to see it in person to really be able to judge because the photos, I feel like are making this palette look not good, but I feel like in person, this would look gorgeous. And it has those lighter mauve pinky tones, which you guys know I'm a sucker for. So I think I'm gonna like this. It looks like an overall glowy ethereal palette. Now where they are clowning us is with this rose cord. <laughs> what is that? Is this a hot balm thing? This thing that looks moldy and fungal and disgusting. Um, she's doing it for marketing because honestly, you guys, when she launched that shade in the last palette, you know she got so much publicity for it. So why not just make it in a giant compact? I don't expect this to be good quality. I, I don't think she was in the labs trying to make this good quality. I think she was like, ooh, we got so much press from this one little eyeshadow. 
let's make it this giant thing. So I think that's completely all marketing in my opinion. I think she even has one of those shades still in this rose quartz palette. I'm gonna have to see the bundle deals and how they work. I really have no intention of picking up this highlight balm thing, but honestly, that would make a good TikTok. Not that I use my TikTok. I don't know, we'll see if there's a bundle deal. If there's not a bundle deal, dropping that balm thing. But if there is, I'll pick it up with it. But definitely the palette I'm shopping. Ooh, what is this? Burberry. This is their holiday 2021 collection, to be quite honest. I completely forgot that Burberry even had a makeup line. Honestly, this looks quite Tom Ford-esque. Very pretty, like Suku Tom Ford had a baby. Looks beautiful. I mean, I'm dropping this. This looks completely stupid for me to have in my collection, but it looks luxe and lovely. And those lipstick shades, that peach one right there, ooh. This has me staring. I'm not gonna get it, but... That looks beautiful, Burry Berry. It looks a little boring, but it looks expensive and it looks he like heavy and luxe. So I think they did a good job with that. Charlotte Tilbury launched the Famously Pink Lipstick in the Kissing Formula. It looks so beautiful. I didn't pick it up because I didn't want to make a single order for just a lipstick, but it looks super pretty and I like how they have the, di the diamond top on the cap, how they have the lips on the actual lipstick and the color looks absolutely gorgeous so I didn't pick it up but I am going to shop it whenever I can get my hand on it like if I make a different Charlotte Tilbury order or if it shows up at Sephora during the sale so I am gonna shop this because I love Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks I love this formula I love the packaging I want to have it I just am not in a rush for it but it looks beautiful I think I'm really gonna like that and I like how they have the photo of the deeper skin tone how it's clearly outlined with a lip liner but they use the pink on the inside of the lips to add that nice flush and pop. I'm getting that. Don't get it twisted. Interesting. Pure X Nabella. I'm telling y'all, nobody works harder than Nabella. I swear she's like the hardest working social media person that I follow. Her house is gorgeous. She's always posting the most beautiful, well curated content on Instagram at least. I want her house. So beautiful, so light, so bright. But she's coming out with a collection with Pure Cosmetics and she's also having a baby. That just came to my mind. She got a lot going on. Um, This palette is so cute and pretty and it looks like there's a cleanser, there's a mask. Oh, it looks just super clean. I mean, I'm dropping this, I'm not gonna get it. Pure is not really a brand that I cover on my channel, but this looks like a great everyday basics palette that, you know, somebody who doesn't have such a large collection like myself would reach for a lot. And I'm not too sure about Pure's skincare, really, but yeah, I'm not gonna get this. It doesn't necessarily interest me, but congratulations, Nabella. I'm so happy to see her working on another project, and the palette itself looks beautiful. It really does. Soft and simple, good for every day. Okay, this is the last one. I told you. The good releases really have just slowed down. But REM Beauty, is it REM or REM Beauty, which is going to be Ariana Grande's makeup launch, has given us some sneaky peekies. So it looks like there's going to be an eyeshadow palette with these like more purpley, pinky toned. I don't know, you see those powders? Those look pretty wearable. I mean, I don't expect her makeup line to probably cater to people who love color, but it's called Ultraviolet. So I like the sound of that. Anything purple based, you guys know, I'm all over that. So it says lashes, liners, plumping glosses, lip stains, and a few others. We have a sneak peek of what looks like an eyeshadow compact. Honestly, that eyeshadow compact does not look cute to me <laughs> but anyways yeah there's some other things we don't really have much i do want to do a dive on the rem beauty stuff so if once we get a bigger reveal i can probably give you a better answer but as of now tentatively i do want to shop some products for the line i don't necessarily know if it'll be all of the products i do need to see the prices what the products look like in general we don't have enough yet but i i'm keeping an eye out to see what comes out and what is sneaked further down the line. Okay, I'm getting this from Angel Naked, I forgot. The Lisa Eldridge launch that already launched. I've never tried anything from Lisa Eldridge. The seamless skin definitely has caught my eye, but I'm just not ready to add another brand to my channel yet. An expensive brand, you know? I have my staple brands. I'm like going nuts over all of the holiday content, so I think it would overwhelm me to add another brand to my channel. So that's why I'm not picking up anything from this launch. But down the road, I can guarantee you I will one day try some Lisa Eldridge stuff because I know you guys love her stuff. 
and I do plan on getting into it. I really, really do. Okay, yeah, that's really it. <laughs> so that's all I have for this time's shopper drop. I will see you in another probably couple of weeks with another shopper drop. A little lull this time, kind of eh, but that's okay. That just gives us time to breathe, gives me time to breathe. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you so much for being subscribed to me and liking this video. Let me know down below what has caught your eye or if there's anything you despise, feel free to talk about it. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.